If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the most overpowered players in Madden 20 right now. Now, I'm going to go do, I'm gonna be doing a top 10 list overall that is going to be how I'm going to format this. You guys have seen these videos before. You know how I format this. going to be going through it. I remember the most overpowered players list does not really relate to price as much. As much as maybe the best players at each position, I'll kind of talk about who I think is better at pricing. But they just overpower. Who are the cards that you kind of want right now? Who are the glitchy cards? Who are the meta cards? So let's get into this. Let's head over to the auction block and go check these out. Got my list of 10 right here. It has done quite a bit of changing since last time we did this video. Quite a few new cards. Quite a few, uh, quite a few movements. Quite a few Ultimate Legends have come out. Let's head on over. Now, guys, before we get into today's video, make sure you down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you think I should change to this, uh, this list. And that's about it. So let's get into this. Go to programs. So we can filter out. Actually, mm, I think I might just start. I might type them in a little bit. It might be a little bit easier. So coming to number 10, we got Taylor Mays. Now, Taylor Mays is a phenomenal safety. Not to mention, with golden tickets being out and with fan appreciation packs being out, the little combo right there has really dropped their price quite significantly. So Taylor Mays is pretty cheap at this point. 1.6. Now, obviously, guys, 1.6 isn't like poor money. You know, like it's not cheap, cheap, but compared to what they were, they're a lot more affordable for the mod people at this point in the year, where coins are a lot more easily accessible at this point in the year. Anyways, now 98 speed, 98 excel, 96 tackle, 95 play rack, 99 pursuit, 98 man, 95 zone, and 99 hit power. This card as a whole can do everything. With the right cams and the right abilities, he's going to have maxed out speed, maxed out hit power, maxed out play rec, um, close to maxed out zone, if not maxed out zone, and going to have a low mid-90s, man. So this car can do just about everything, and he's going to get like Enforcer, probably, he's going to get some of the best abilities overall anyways. I really like this Taylor Maze, especially because, you know, safety kind of just, it's like the blanket of the defense, all the way in the back, keeping everything in front of him, stopping big passes, stopping runs. I really like this Taylor Maze. And moving on to the next one, guys. Coming in at number 9 on the list is a guy that's pretty new to the game. Uh, I mean, not pretty new. This card specifically has been pretty new. Just came out, like, oh, I believe, like, two, two, three weeks ago max. Now, there's Randy Moss, Ultimate Legend, which is nice because that means it's super cheap compared to the other guys. And, guys, Randy Moss is he's Moss. 98 speed, 99 jumping, 98 catching, 95 catch traffic, 99 spec catch, and, I believe, 93 short route running, 92 medium route running, and 99 deep route running. Now, this card powered up and kind of going to be able to get to 99 pretty much all catching. Gonna have 99 speed, going to have 99 route running at, in the deep slot, and then going to probably be around mid to high, medium, and short route running. So this card overall powered up and kind of gonna be a monster, six for four. Gonna be catching a lot of things for you. Not to mention he does come with, I believe, good juking and good back of the card. So that's 99 jumping is amazing. And he's going to have, let's see, 89 juke, so powered up and have a 90 juke, which means he potentially could get one of those ability slots, although he is a deep threat receiver so i don't know if they're gonna that's at the archetype at overall at a 90 stat we'd have to see but card's great personally i really do like that card i recommend you do pick him up as one of your wide receivers now another guy you could pick up a wide receiver julio jones a lot cheaper than he once was now this card is going to be better than moss overall but moss is still going to be great for his price now chemmed up this card's going to have max out route running max out catching max out speed that's the beauty of this card. He's going to have no deficiencies anywhere. Going to have really good strength. Going to have good carrying, surprisingly, which is nice for a wide receiver. Still 99 jump. Going to have 80 trucking. Going to have 95 looseness. Going to have 88 stiff arm, as well as 92 juke. Plus, his ability slots going to be deep threat route runner and slots. A slot means he can more than likely get either evasive or juke box or human joystick. He's going to be able... Well, let's see his agility. His agility should be enough for human joystick, I believe. Is 99. 98 agility, so yes. He should be, I think, I believe he should be able to get it. Plus, he's going to be able to get a bunch of good catching stats. Streak specialist, whatever you like. Guys, this card is insane. The best all-around receiver in Madden right now. Highly recommend. If you guys have coins like that, you scoop them up. Because these golden tickets are pretty much a great value right about now. Because they're the end game cards. 170k for Vic is one of the best values in Madden. This card is going to be coming in number 7. Because at the end of the day, he's still a quarterback. He's still Michael Vick. He might not be the golden ticket one. But you can't discount 170k. And an overall Michael Vick. 95 speed, 99 throw power, 92 throw short, 89 throw mid, 94 throw deep, 92 throw under pressure, 97 throw on the run, and 91 play action. Kept up and powered up, you can get his deep. You, okay, if you want to go the go deep route, you do get him to like a 99 throw accuracy deep. Personally, I think I'd probably go with the West Coast route to get his throw, uh, throw accuracy mid up to like a 93, 94, plus his throw short to like a 95, and everything's kind of like 95 across the board. 
last round i would go plus john madden you end up with all 95 instead of just a really good 30 and then his speed's going to hit 99 powered up and then you put sprinter and john madden gonna be 99 so vic's gonna be a crazy good runner a good enough passer with good abilities he won't be the golden ticket one of course but i still think that one is more than enough if you're especially if you're on a budget like you can't you can't beat that price nitro lane 247k one of the best values in madden as well comes up powered up 99 as you guys can see on the right is what he will look like now this is about chems though so chems and everything with sprinter hands about like an 88 speed with him with that and john madden plus his jumping excel all good enough agility is good enough play rec with a man and zone all with lockdown end up being like a 98 play rec a 97 man and then a maxed out zone and 98 press this card is great he also has good hit power which is one of the things that i like about him 95 hit power which pretty much means he's going to lay the boom on people and he's not going to be beating around in the run game which is super important especially at this point in the year Next on the list, coming at number five, another cornerback that I actually think might be the best cornerback in Madden, or if not, close to it, and that's Jalen Ramsey, 648k, a super, super good value at this point. Cannot believe how cheap he got. This card compared to Night Train, he's kind of like he's kind of like Jalen. He's pretty much Night Train Lane. The similar heights, but Jalen Ramsey is 97 speed, 97 excel, 95 agility, 99 jumping, 98 play rec, 99 man, 99 zone, and 99 press. So he's a way better, way better at press. Same zone, pretty much. Way better at man. Way better at play rec. Good, better jumper. Just about the same agility. So, so, and then the speed, just two plus XL and speed is just huge because he's gonna end up at 99 everything. Where Nitro Lane just misses it on my team by about one. So this Jalen Rams is going to be pretty much Nitro Lane, slightly better, a little less hit power. I believe. I believe. I mean, they both have good hit power. That's the beauty of them. They're both gonna be pretty much the same card, very identical. Except Nitro will be better in pick returns, and then Jalen Rams is just better as a cornerback overall. Let's see, hit power, where'd I pass it? Let's see, hit power 84, 96. Okay, so less hit power, better coverage. Jaden Ramsey's still a monster, though. Highly recommend you guys scoop him up. Now, another guy who is always going to be on the top of one of my lists, usually, as long as he has a card recently, Lawrence Taylor, 350K. Lawrence Taylor cards just play absolutely amazing. Let me show you guys the stats powered up. Over here on the right, 99. Russell linebacker, Lawrence Taylor, 93 speed. We got 96 excel, 94 strength, 95 tackle, 94 play rec, 96 block shed, 99 power move, and 898 finesse. Kemmed up with everything, gonna have 99 block shed, 99 finesse move, depending on which route you go, depending on which chem you use. Play rec, it is what it is, 94, that's not gonna go up too much depending on your team. Tackle, strike. Now, what I see important here is 99 power move, 99 finesse move, hopefully 99 block shed, so best run stuffer, best pass rusher, plus with Sprinter and John Madden, you're gonna have 96 speed. One of the fastest guys in Madden. This card overall is phenomenal. Trust me. Put him in your scheme. Send him. He should be easily able to get off of most guys, unless they're using abilities on their tackles, which in that case, that's great because they don't have abilities somewhere else. Bo Jackson, self-explanatory, 99 everything, 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 agility, going to have 99 carrying. 72 catching actually won't move, 99 elusiveness, 99 trucking, 99 break tackle. Now, that is once you power, once you come up, you're going to have 99 everything besides catching. Now, guys, again, if you want a budget version of Bo, Saquon still the move. They're very, very close after chems and abilities. The only thing is that with abilities, Bo Jackson does get human joystick and like bruiser, and then Saquon only gets his evasive and his outside zone gurus and stuff. So obviously Bo Jackson has the advantage in terms of abilities, which is going to be the make or break difference. But Bo Jackson has gotten cheap enough to where if you really want to go that route, I can't say I won't stop you. Although like even I would even go that route. I mean, when it was 5 million, probably not. But now it's kind of different. Next we got, let's see, we got Michael Vick coming in number two. Now this is the other Michael Vick. Oh, I was like, why isn't he showing up? So this is the other Michael Vick, golden ticket Vick. Gotta come in at two because he's an amazing quarterback. Old Legend's great. But this one's even better. He's almost below 1 million coins at this point. 96 speed, 99 throw power, 98 throw short, 95 throw mid, 95 throw deep, 93 throw under pressure, 98 throw on the run, and 92 play action. As you guys see here, this card can do everything. Compared to the other card, where he beats him is that throw mid, that throw short, and plus one speed. So now the speed gets to 99. Again, same thing. Throw power is already 99, same thing. But on this card, you don't have to really go West Coast because his West Coast actually stats are better. His throw short. So now in this case, you can either go West Coast, get his mid 299, and then get his short 299, but then his throw deep blacks a little bit. Or you can go go deep, which I don't think I'd go go deep because his throw power is max already. I'd probably end up going. It really comes down to mid versus deep. 95 mid, 95 deep. Where would you rather go? That's it. And you decide based off of that. Gonna get human joystick, going to get hot rod master, going to get escape artist going to get dashing dead eye great card overall can't go wrong with it now first on the list is my favorite card personally in madden this year over like just overall is my favorite card all year and i think right about now he has the best quarterback card in the game that's lamar jackson now it's not this one that one's super cheap though it's not palomalu showed up 
It's just Lamar right here. Now, why is this one better than the other one? Look at closely. He's faster than the other. Vic. Got less throw power, but he has a better throw. Same throw short just about after chems. Better throw mid, better throw deep, way better throw under pressure. So now here, here, here's you gotta look at it. Vic's throw under pressure was never hit in 99. Not possible, too far away. His throw, throw deep might have hit 99, but that's the only thing you were gonna get. And his mid would have never hit 99 as well. So now the beauty of this Lamar Jackson, you put him in my team. With sprinter, 99 speed, done. So now he's the same speed as Vic. Throw power. If you'd like that to be 99, either A, you have John Madden passing, it gets to 98. Or you put go deep on him if you put go deep on him he does get 99 throw power and 99 throw deep but then with john madden his throw mid and throw short will be 98 98 so you have 98 98 99 or if you prefer you get 98 throw power and 99 throw deep perfect and then you put west coast you have 99 99 99 98 which i actually think west coast is the better move so instead of having 99 throw power you have a 98 throw power but you do get 99 throw short 99 throw mid and 99 throw deep and 99 throw under pressure so you only lose only one stat on the whole entire card will be a 90, not 99, that will be throw power. I think that's the best way you go West Coast. And then with ability, guys, gonna get like, he's gonna get like protected or hot route master. He's gonna get escape artist, dashing dead eye, or um, human joystick. Gonna be in the same card. Guys, about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are into the channel, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below what you would add or change to this list. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.